her skills in the kitchen and make some really amazing, great home meals, home cooked meals this year. You're in luck. We've brought the best of the best here this morning with us. We've got Chef Greg and Chef Aaron from UT Culinary, and you guys have quite the spread here. What are we looking at? So, you know, we offer this breakfast cookery class for our culinary program at UT. Okay. And this is one of the items that we impale on the students. Okay. At first they look <laughs> at this and they go, Chef, I can't do this, but we don't say can't. I'm in the same boat they are right now. All we do is say yes, okay. we can, correct? Okay. Well, yes, let's go ahead and get into that yes, can do mindset. All right, walk us through what we've got. So we're gonna do, Aaron's gonna do a beef tenderloin flambe with dried apples. Wow. And candied bacon. Okay. He's gonna saute that, saute that for just a few seconds. Then he's gonna put the perfect amount a brandy in it. It's going to help caramelize the apples and the beef. Ooh. And then I am going to do. Whoa, oh, look, look at that. At Perfect. That. We All need right. some marshmallows, don't we? <laughs> we sure do. Make some s'mores, yeah. So Aaron's going to saute that. I'm going to do just a real simple, uh, simple omelet, a little bit of veggie oil here. Okay. Some really good black truffle oil. Smell that. that. Smell amazing. This is a food group all by itself. Wow. Yeah, this is fantastic. Very potent. A little of this. And then, then we're gonna have omelet 101. So the key is just, it's gonna be a little bit of oil. Okay. Oh, here. look at that, already we're bubbling gonna, up. We're gonna let it cook. So to get the, keep the omelet and make it fluffy, uh -huh. you're gonna be able to push in like so. And look at all the air incorporation that we have on this. Oh, wow. You know, and this is what we teach. So do you want a little bit of a high heat on there? Um, it, yeah, high heat, that okay. way it, uh, you get some good color. Okay. The real question is, now I have to flip it. Uh-oh. Wish me luck. Oh gosh, okay. Right? I'm gonna stay out of your way. So out you of your do way. your thing. Now remember, you're in charge I'm of the cheese sauce. Duty. <laughs> sauce That's true. Duty. So That's true. Omelet, three, two, one. Okay. Holy cow. Hey! We got it. You Perfection. know, a little bit of borson cheese in the middle. It's almost like, like you know what you're stuffing. doing. <laughs> Okay, what did we just put on top there? Horse and cheese. Okay. It's a French cheese, a cream cheese base, herbs. So that's going to go on here. Outlaw that. Eggs Benedict. That's going to go on top. Okay. And then Raya is going to ladle a couple ladles of cheese sauce My right on the top. My big contribution is Look putting this right on wow, the top Wow, that there. is awesome, isn't it? That looks I amazing. believe our portion's a little heavy on that. <laughs> I, <laughs> I Not think, enough for me. I think this looks good. <laughs> How about a little garnish from afar? Oh, oh there we one go. One more of those. Okay. Look at that. Doesn't that look good? You make it look so easy. If someone's watching this and they think it looks a little overwhelming, what kind of advice do you have? Um, I pride myself on making things easier than they truly actually are. Okay. But also we can teach that too. Yeah. You know, there's room. We, uh, so it's utculinary.com. Okay. We have some open enrollment for our late January start. Yeah. A couple left. Okay. Um, we have fun and we care. That's great. And Chef Aaron, you've had quite kind of the career move, right? You recently graduated from the culinary program. Tell us a little bit about what you were doing before and how you got into cooking. So about 18 months ago, I retired after 27 years in the Air Force and uh, was at the Pentagon and uh, moved here to Knoxville, Tennessee. And because I had the GI Bill and going to culinary school has always been on my bucket list, uh, reached out to uh, Chef Greg, who brought me on board and uh, had such a blast during the course and I was a little concerned going in because it was so far out of my wheelhouse sure. but um, uh, you know learned some fantastic skills yeah. and then Chef Greg graciously asked me to stay on staff after I graduated That's so uh, this has been quite the fun retirement. Yeah what's been your favorite part of the program? So the favorite part of the program is um, you know, being from the military is meeting people who um, didn't quite have the same background I have sure. from all ages. There sure. was an 18 year old student in my class all the way to me who was the old man. So uh, so it's, it's meeting <laughs> people from different backgrounds who share a common love of food. So anybody can cook? Yes. If you if you put your mind to it, I'm trying to sit here and convince myself right now because I'm not somebody who has picked up these skills uh, during childhood and now I'm an adult trying to make my way through the kitchen. But well, We'll just cook, cook more together, won't we? We sure will. Chef Greg and Chef Aaron will be ba back on with us. You guys, thank you so much for this incredible dish. You're welcome. Enjoy. Amazing.